goals in 2015, looking to build on that. And, and Bob Zeen will come to a little more full-time role with, with the graduation of Westberg down at attack. Definitely, and I, and I think he, he is a, he's a crucial piece of that offense because he plays that, that spot very well. Um, Last he, year. And this, this Denver offense is, is just so efficient, uh, led by, you know, assistant coach Matt Brown. Uh, they utilize so many, you know, technical skills and different sets. And coming down the middle of the field, shot, another save by Reddy. Big oh, Southern California. So it's it's very, very exciting time for lacrosse. Um, and as we mentioned earlier, an exciting time for Atlanta with two two new franchises, uh, the Georgia Swarm of indoor lacrosse, and then you have the... Rowe and Baptiste will square off once again at the X. Rowe's had the best of this matchup so far today, but Baptiste wins that one pretty cleanly to himself, and he'll flip it over to Zach Miller. You can go high to low like he did earlier, or you can go high to, to high to high, and he certainly shows his, his range there. And Baptiste wins this one, pushes a little bit of transition, but Canizero, new game here with 12.07 remaining in the second quarter. And Rowe wins another one for Duke. As they'll get their man up, dodge down the alley. So now we're back at the X with Kyle Rowe and Trevor Baptiste. And that one's back to Baptiste, picked up by Tyler Pace. And a heads up play as Denver's going to have a little transition. Dylan Johnson coming down. They're going to let him shoot, and he skips it through to Bob Zine. But Bob Zine was below the goal, and that's another one here. So he's on pace for a big year, running with that first midfield group of Miller and the freshman Austin French. Back at the X, we got a battle here with Baptiste and Rowe. And they're going to get white for being on top of the stick. And Rowe's going to push a transition. He's got numbers. And inside, yep. there it is. <laughs> and a little drop off goal from Jamie Iketa. This one went a couple rounds as they went around the ball. So we'll see if someone can pop this one out quick. And Baptiste wins the clamp back to himself, <laughs> just like he's in the backyard. Yeah, that's just, it looks like there's almost nobody. <laughs> see, we'll see what happens here as we get underway. So here we go, face off between Rowe and Baptiste. It was six to five at the half in favor of Rowe. And here we go, and probably gonna be a push on Baptiste, and it is. So Duke will get the first possession here in the second half. They're the last one to start this second half. And looks like a battle's no one wins the clamp clean. And they'll go around here. Baptiste pulls it out. And he'll run to space. Um, not having one open end and, and having it be kind of lower level only, it, it, it makes the crowd kind of feel really right on top of you. And, and it's absolutely great when you're down on the field. Um, it's got a big time atmosphere feel. And I, I really can't wait to see it fill up and, and get, get playing with the Blaze. Getting closer and closer to that. Scott, just to chime in here, something I think you'll be pumped about, Loyola Greyhounds with a big 9-8 win. I'm all over, over that. Hopkins. Already saw it. Already <laughs> saw it. It's a, it's a big year for the Hounds. They've got a, a really good squad and really good senior leadership, so uh, I'm expecting the overall lacrosse scene in Atlanta a lot better. So another great opportunity here at the end of April um, for the Atlanta community to get out and, and support the game. It's great to see all these guys out here. I uh, I coached with Scott in the spring over at Great Atlanta Christian School, and I actually had one of my guys text me during the broadcast saying, did you see that hitch? That was a great hit. So the X continues. And nobody with a clean win yet. And Baptiste using all 215 pounds to flop a little bit and get the call. And now coming down transition, Tyler Pace. Oh, oh, that was pretty. I haven't seen that yep. from Denver, really, um, attacking the goal in the unsettled. And Denver would love to have Bob Zine step into that role that Westberg left when he graduated. And Bob Zine so far doing a good job. Good ground ball there by Sean Mail and a little flip over to Johnson. Denver's going to have numbers if they can beat him out of the box. And a long oh. shot just wide. No shot out of roll. Very effective move by, by an offensive player. Scott, for some people listening who may not know as much about LB3 down here in Atlanta, where, where are some places that, that 
LB3 has sent players to play collegiately. I know uh, the big one uh, had a point last week for Syracuse. Yeah. Add to that total today. And a little violation there on Denver. Looked like they got Baptiste for moving early as two refs immediately blew their whistle. You know, Deemer class and Miles Jones and Gutter Dane's production, then, then they can have a successful season on offense. Thighs certainly off to a hot start in 2016. Six goals, three in each of the first two. And add another one today. Very well for about the first 42 minutes. <laughs> and then Canizera had a few at the end of the third and yep. one here early in the fourth. So if he can get going, it's going to be tough to slow down this Denver offense. Well, you know, again, that's that's just the mark of a great player. You know, you're shut out. there. Like Marcus said, passing up the good shot for the great shot. Great example right there. Can't get much better than a dunk. And Baptiste wins another one. A little confusion there, but Canizero is going to get the ball. Talking with Ron Computer on the sideline. Just trying to figure out what needs to change here in the last couple minutes to go on a run. Baptiste, that's a big thing that needs to change, and shot miss. As Baptiste. It's a credit to, to the Duke coaching staff. I think the mark of a great staff is one that can emulate certain players and you know teach them you know how the how the greats did it before. Um, you know, I, an analogy in another sport would kind of be like Alabama and the, the running back mm -hmm. success that they've had um, over the past couple of years. So Duke with a big ground ball here. Let's see if they can get a goal. Duke with all the energy, you heard the bench of Trevor Baptiste. But we'll see. And Baptiste quickly with the clamp. Petit doing a good job though. And wow. Yep, they're gonna get Baptiste for laying on the ball. It looked like he tried to try to get the call there, but and Zanker and Gill on the wings for Duke. Mail and Pace for Denver. Baptiste wins the clamp and wins it to himself. Got some numbers, they're probably gonna let Baptiste run to the goal for a little while. And he wisely pulls it back out. As we tick under six, two goals and 27 assists. So a real glue guy who I'm sure doesn't mind his name not being called if they're winning national championships. Absolutely. Made headlines by, uh, by using the, the Warrior Warp Stick, which is a, a new kind of trend, I guess, coming into play here in lacrosse. Definitely a lucky bounce for the Pioneers. So Baptiste will come back to the X against Petit, and an easy win for him. He'll get it to pace. Three minutes on the clock now. Denver up two. 